Nearly two dozen people were hurt after an explosion in the basement of an historic building in Fort Worth. Good evening, I'm Clarice Tinsley. It happened at a newly renovated hotel. There is a restaurant in the basement that's under construction. There were employees in the restaurant and visitors in the hotel. At this point, authorities are still working to find the exact cause. Right now, one of those people hurt has critical injuries. Fox Horse Peyton Yeager is live at the scene and has the latest. Peyton. Clarice, in the latest update from Fort Worth Fire, as they tell us that firefighters will continue to do search efforts throughout the night to make sure that everyone is accounted for, to make sure no one is trapped. So the latest information right now from Fort Worth Fire, at least 21 people were injured from this explosion. One person is in critical condition, four people are in serious condition, and the rest had minor injuries. No deaths have been reported from this explosion. Now, officials believe that the explosion came from the basement of this hotel where there's a sushi restaurant and when they showed up on scene they found out that people were trapped there. Frightening moments in downtown Fort Worth Monday afternoon. Just after 3.30 p.m., an explosion caused significant damage to the Sandman Signature Hotel and surrounding structures near 7th and Houston. So it was a very loud and very violent explosion. The blast could be felt from blocks away. Windows were blown out. Debris was scattered across the street. Part of a wall was leaning against a tree. A strong smell of gas was reported downtown as well, but officials say the cause is still under investigation. We wanted to make it clear that this was some type of gas explosion uh, and we're still working on the, the details of that to figure out what, what all caused that. Fort Worth Fire immediately began rescuing people from inside the hotel. 26 rooms were occupied. More than a dozen patients were transported to area hospitals. We didn't see the person except being taken away and his or her head was wrapped up, but he was sitting up. Kathy Johnson took this photo of firefighters helping a man out of a window. It appeared to me that there's an explosion under, underground in the cellar area because the uh, sidewalk was completely blown out and the, the big chunks of the sidewalk were in the street. Atmos Energy was dispatched to turn off the gas. Officials say when they arrived on scene, several people were trapped in the basement. Below the lobby, the hotel houses a sushi restaurant named Misume. Fort Worth Fire believes the explosion came from the restaurant. It wasn't open at the time. It was under construction. No customers were dining. However, three employees were injured and taken to the hospital. It's heartbreaking for downtown Fort Worth, of course. And um, at this point, well, our hearts are really our hearts and prayers are with the victims um, at area hospitals. And again, Fort Worth Fire and other agencies will remain on scene here. You know, Clarice, the cleanup will be immense. The debris went for blocks, and also there is still an active investigation to determine the cause. Now, the hotel is owned by Northland Development. The CEO is the owner of the Dallas Stars. Again, the building has been here since the 1920s, but it was newly renovated just last year. We'll have much more in the morning. Clarice, back to you. All right, Peyton Yeager live. Thank you, Peyton.